Hi guys, so today I'm filming a bit of a review and demo and kind of like a first impressions of the Revlon Colorstay foundation up to 24 hours in the shade Caramel. Um, I've been on the hunt for this for ages and even though they do sell it in like most like Boots and Super Drugs, they don't have like the the test of it. People usually like steal it or whatever because it's like the only dark shade that they seem to sell in the UK. And um, I'm not even looking at the camera. And um, yeah, so I finally got my hands on the tester and basically it's just a really sort of like un yellow undertone like foundation and it's meant to be for combination to oily skin so it's meant to be quite mattifying and yeah i just wanted to try it out um it's on it's half price at boots at the moment until the 13th of march i believe so instead of being 13 pound or 12.99 it's actually 650 so that was a bit more of an incentive to buy it so even if it doesn't work out for me you know if i only sort of like lost 650 and if it does work out then i can go and stock up on some more obviously um um i've technically already like filmed this but there was a bit of a kerfuffle with uploading and editing so i'm redoing this so this will be the second time i'm using this foundation yeah but it's still technically like a first impressions and what i'll do is like i'll put it on I and mean, then i'll do like my normal like highlighting concealing contour and whatever and um, i've already done like brows and eyes and whatever and what I'll do is I'll come back in like a few hours and see how like it's held up, like has it made my skin oily, like does it do what it says, is it for combination to oily skin and whatnot, and yeah, so I'm just going to get into it. Okay, it's kind of annoying because it doesn't have a pump, but what I found out with pump foundations is that they tend to oxidise a lot quicker, so I'll buy something thinking it's yellow toned and then... It either goes slightly neutral, which I'm definitely not, or it's, I don't know, I can't explain it, it's like, it goes a bit darker, I don't know, so I kind of prefer it not being, not having a pump, but all the same, it's kind of annoying, but I'm going to shake it up, because last time I didn't shake it up, I saw got the residue on top that had been oxidised and it was just like not the right colour, so, yeah, there we go, it's kind of hard to know how much foundation I need because I've literally like used pump foundation since I was about 15 <laughs> so this is kind of hard uh, gosh <laughs> I'm gonna start off with like that much basically that much for the time being and then I'll just work from there I'm gonna spray my brush which I always do oof Okay, see how this applies. I'm using a stippling brush by the way. Okay, I'm not gonna do this in the yeah. Oh I forgot to say I've also um prime like moisturised and primed my face with like my usual primers. So um yeah I haven't colour corrected or used any concealer yet because I want to see like how this product holds up without putting on concealer or colour correcting first. I want to see how much it like sort of covers and like I've got like a lot of scars at the moment for some reason my camera doesn't pick up all my like scars scars and dark marks like right now I'm sticking in it kind of looks even which is completely not the case like look at that massive scar there oh. it seems to have covered it well I've got a massive I don't know why well, I've, since I had a shower this morning, I've just had like this massive like red mark here. <sighs> they say if you're dark skin, you can't like blush or go red, and like that's not the case, babes. <laughs> In fact, I remember when I was at uni, my first year, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's because the shower's too hot, but like every time I come out of the shower, my whole, all well, my cheeks and my eyes would be like bloodshot red. Like it was awful i had to like have a shower like extra o just to ensure that the redness would go down so i don't know what that's about okay so i haven't used a lot but it's covered like most of my face like what i say two thirds of my face so i'm gonna put a little bit more on I'm not 
a bit too much on this side because I'm gonna have my hair done. I've clipped my hair back, and I don't really if my hair's covering. I don't want one get foundation in my hair and two doesn't. I'm just putting foundation on areas that it's not needed. So okay, so that's kind of it. I'm taking my hair down. Um. Or flexion, even though it does come out like yellow on, it might come out yellow on camera, but in person, it's actually a bit more neutral. I don't think it's red, but in me, it's probably looking a little bit red, like in person, because of how like, like I have such a yellow undertones that most foundations do come up red, regardless, even if they are yellow undertone. So um, it's coming out probably a bit more neutral and a bit darker actually. Like when, I don't know if you can see between my face and my neck, it's a different color. It's probably not showing you up on camera but it's a lot it is a lot darker so okay so i've done the rest of my makeup so just spray my, oh am i just getting something oh, okay so i've done my makeup and i'm just gonna spray my face with my setting spray So I'll leave it like that for now and I will be back in a few hours or so to see how this is held up. See you in a bit. So I'm back after eight hours now and this is how the foundation is held up. I so said I did powder and add a bit of setting spray, probably not as much as I usually do, but um, nevertheless this is the result. Um, I'm looking at myself now and you can see I've gotten a little bit like oily like sort of like where you would usually get oily so like around the t-zone and here um it hasn't really worn off which is quite good um but it has like i wouldn't clay if you are quite oily um i wouldn't really sort of like stick to the claims that it will make you matte but like i looked at myself i don't know about four or five hours in and i wasn't oily so maybe it's just because this is after eight hours but eight hours is sort of like the time you would wear foundation for like when you're going to like work, school, uni, whatever. Um, so I caught kind of like average time, so after eight hours you probably would, you know, not necessarily be around a lot of people after that time, on average. Um, I think it oxidised a bit, it's a bit, it looks like, a bit, like it's a bit darker. Um, I mean in comparison to when you first put it on it does look a bit darker. Um, it's alright, I mean, for me, foundations are so, in my shade, oh, yeah, not necessarily my shade, but my undertone is so hard to come across. I feel like I can't be too picky with it, so regardless of, like, how it stays, I'm still probably going to use it for my everyday makeup now because it's the closest thing I have to a yellow undertone. If anything, I'll probably just, like, add um, a foundation that's way too light for me just to brighten it up a bit because even though it looks like it's sort of, like, my shade, complexion, in comparison to my neck especially, it's just like complete, two completely different colours. Um, it's not as bad as other foundations, but I just wish it could have been a tiny bit lighter. Um, <clears throat> it hasn't transferred on anything as far as I know, like my scarf <clears throat> that I wear around my neck hasn't transferred on that, which is quite good. Um, you know, if I did powder a bit more, then I probably wouldn't be as matte. I'm, I'm, not, sh I'm not sure, I might be more matte, I can't really tell. But, you know, that's going to show on its own it wouldn't be like a sort of a matte foundation which is what it claims to just be I think anyway um it wouldn't be like a sort of mattifying or mattifying foundation basically for um oily skin a general a general out of 10 when it comes to like wearability staying power covering blemishes and yeah, staying like matte and stuff like that all day. I'd probably give it about six and a half out of ten. I don't want to be too stingy, but I'd say six and a half to seven out of ten at most. Um, it's an alright foundation. I do not think it's worth like thirteen quid. Six fifty it's worth, but thirteen quid it's not like that's its retail price and it's on half price for six fifty. I don't think it's worth that. No, not at all. But as you can see, like here, it's completely fine, completely flawless. So it could, if you're less oily, I'm super oily. If you're less oily, it's probably better. But yeah, um, it's alright. I'm complaining, but it's still gonna be my everyday foundation. So 
there we go <laughs> anyway i hope you found this review and demo helpful like if you liked it um comment below if you have any questions or if you want me to try any other products hopefully i'll be trying out another foundation very soon um because I'm, I'm on the hunt for like that perfect like drugstore foundation basically um and yeah i'll see you in my next video bye